Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For you guys that don't know me, my name is Anayeli. I'm 18 years old and I have a son. His name is Christian and he's two. He just turned two in August 28th. So literally just turned two. And um, well today, like the title says, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what's in my hospital bag. I already did this once for my son. But it's been two years since I had him, so, um, is not really not new to me, but I already know what to expect and what to bring. So, I have this one back here. Uh, one of my cousins gave it to me, so I have no idea what's the name or anything, because this one is, like, pretty old. It's, like, five years old or something. I had it for a long time. And, um, it only has one pocket right here and then this huge one up here. So I have baby stuff in here and my stuff together because I didn't want to bring a whole bunch of bags. I don't know. I'm just like, I guess I'm just a simple person. I don't know. But I'm going to start with my stuff really quick. I have just a coming home outfit for myself because I am I know for a fact uh, that I'm going to be wearing just the gown that they give you in the hospital. Uh, because I don't know, I'm I just don't wear my clothes because they check you, they check your stomach and stuff, and you don't want to put pants and you know stuff like that. But I have the sweatpants here, just normal ones, just you know, comfortable ones because I know I want to be comfortable when I come back home from the hospital. So then I have this, um, this bra here. This is not a nursing bra or anything like that, it's just a like a comfortable, um just a bra just sport bra basically and it, this is not new i had a long time but it's just a bra just a simple sport bra uh, but it's easy to nurse basically just easy to nurse um i've already done that before so i know it's easy and then just this tank top here this is a uh, nursing tank top so it you know opens from here basically like the normal bras for nursing so you know opens right there puts the okay and then um you put it back and then basically just just the one right here and um just in case i want to wear something on top of that which i think i will i have this lovely shirt here just a regular shirt comfortable because i don't want to wear something too tight because i know your stomach doesn't go like back you know normal size um when you deliver it takes time but just a comfortable shirt you know just everything's comfortable because you don't need nothing for yourself a lot i am gonna wear um i do have some underwear here um and i know they give you the you know the mesh underwear but I want my, I want, I want an underwear more, um, I guess more like, you know, more tight for me. So I'm wearing these ones right here. So these are high waisted, so that's, you know, but they're pretty big. The reason I got them pretty big is because I know I'm going to want something, you know, really tight. But I don't know why I got them big. I just guess I just did. I don't know why. But those are my stuff that I have. And have more underwear the same thing but um that's pretty much for me because you know you don't really need nothing for you for yourself and then my toiletries i didn't bring a lot either my first baby i didn't take a shower i didn't do that uh i didn't want to i was very exhausted i didn't want to stand up i didn't want to do nothing so i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna take a shower this time either but i did bought a toothpaste and toothbrush um it was like a dollar so might as well just get one new and um so i got this for myself and then just the soap just the dove soap as you can see just one something for my face because i do wash my face I do plan on washing my face and i do have some prenatals because i'm pretty sure um, you have to, you, I'm not pretty sure I know this. You have to, um, still take your prenatals after baby's born because it's very important. So I'm going to take these with me. I just have a, like, like for like three, four days prenatals right there. I think that's it for me. 
Um, I will take a chapstick and because I haven't gotten it, but I will take chapstick and a brush for my hair and um, a charger also, but I don't have it in here because um, you know I need it, so I don't have it in here. But that's pretty much it for me. Uh, now for baby, I brought him three outfits because usually you spend three days in the hospital. Uh, so just all of it is newborn size, just something small like that. So really, really cute. And then, um, I'm sorry if I'm going so fast. I don't know. I just talk fast. I, I'm a fast talker. But I have another one. And the only reason they're all like sleepers, like very, like very soft ones, is because here, here where I live, it's very cold and. If this little boy takes like two more weeks to be born, which hopefully he does because I'm only 38 weeks, um, it's going to be cold. So that's why I'm just bringing a bunch of um, sleepers. Um, this one says little brother. So hopefully this one is the one that uh, fits him good for I can bring him home when. So it's pretty cute. And then I also have just some, some socks because I said it's cold where I live. And it's already cold right now, so, okay. So, and then I have some little hats. They um, match, so that's pretty cute. And then I have some blankies to swaddle him in. So I have, I only brought two of these pretty cute ones. Um, I used this one for my son, for my first son, so might as well use it again. <laughs> and then um, just one something to put it right here, you know, to burp him just in case. Not all newborns um, throw up, like spit up, but just in case, you know, I I forgot if they do or not. Like it's been a long time since my baby was was a baby, you know, a newborn. So and then I brought another one right here if I can put him in. I think I brought more baby stuff than nothing. <laughs> and um, these are the onesies for uh that you put them in first and then you put the sleeper on i guess i always do that i only brought three of these um just three of these oh and one long sleeve one um i know it looks like a lot it's a lot and just the warm warm blanket this one is very very warm and it just has an elephant here pretty cute Pretty cute elephant. It's very warm. I got this from, I think, Ross. And the last thing I brought for baby is some pacifiers. I plan on breastfeeding, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use these, only because I don't want him to be confused. But I use them for my son, my first son. So I'm pretty sure he won't get confused. But I might use them, I might not. I will do a um another what I actually used video when I'm out of the hospital. And then lastly, I brought a Haka pump. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these only because I'm not sure if, you know, um if I'm if my milk is going to come in or if it's going to take like 2 days to come in. So this is a maybe, but I'm still bringing it just in case cuz I want to be prepared. Um, that's pretty much it, like, yes, pretty much it. Lastly, what I'm gonna bring for baby, or for myself, or for both, I guess, is this boppy. I am planning on nursing, so this one's gonna be an A plus for us. And I've never used one before, so this is the first time I'm actually gonna use one with this baby. And, um, that's pretty much it. If, I, if I'm forgetting something, please comment down below. You know, it's been a it's been a long time since I haven't done this, since since I haven't done this. So if you guys can comment down below what I need, uh, please do because I'm not sure. But um, yeah, the white piece and diapers I'm not gonna bring it because the hospital provides, so I don't want to bring those. Uh, but it's pretty much it, guys. I think that's it. And I might bring my water bottle. Not sure. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if I'm forgetting something, comment down below and tell me. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have an awesome day.